you guys. Ray from Staying Spiritual here with the Saturday Night Live. Now every K likes I will be doing the singing bowl. But for the meantime we will be doing Wild Dreams Animal Oracle. This one. And between each deck I will be doing a yes and no cards. I'll be doing three to seven maximum. Seven. But we'll get into the cards first, shall we? we have bat the more you love the mystery the more it reveals its secrets so I'll be doing three cards of each I was going to change it up to one card each but we'll see how long this goes and I turn straight to the page. Well, wow. <clears throat> so <clears throat> sorry, guys. I needed to quickly have a drink. My throat decided to clog up. <clears throat> there we go. The world is is wrong side up. It needs to be turned upside down in order to be right side up. Billy Sunday was that quote from Bat's message. <clears throat> Sorry guys, my throat keeps clogging up here guys, but I'll continue. Bat's message. If you are feeling lost, upside down and like everything has gone dark, open your inner eyes and behold your life circumstances from Bat's point of view. When life flips upside down, consider that it might, it, eh, sorry guys, that it may be right side up. Though unsettling for your ego, being in unknown territory can be a tonic for the soul, an opportunity for hidden dimensions of your spirit to be revealed. Meaning, Bat medicine represents rebirth, reincarnation, transition, intuition, and your ability to find your way through any dark night into the light. Don't worry if your blind ambition has caused you to bump into walls. Once you're on the other side of the obstacle you're currently working through, you will not only <coughs> be un <coughs> sorry guys be unflappable but also discover a treasure treasure laden gateway to a new dimension of purpose in your life manifestation on a street of paper draw or sketch an issue that you've been struggling with don't worry if you're not Picasso Picasso oh my god Picasso draw with stick figures if you have to when you're done flip it upside down and notice what you see the process of turning your story on its head has the potential to open the floodgates of your imagination to perceive the insights that have been here all along. This simply shifts into percep perceps oh my god, perceptive can activate your lantern latent wisdom to help you navigate your battering situation toward grace and blessing 
galore. The mantra for this is my inner sona attunes me to high vibe guidance. I'll show you guys the mantra. Sorry, I've been coughing all throughout this. Guys, <laughs> obviously, maybe someone needs a throat chakra cleanse or myself. Okay, second card we got Owl. See beyond the obvious. So I'll be doing one more card after this owl and then I'll get on to doing three to seven yes or no questions. So we need O for owl. There we go. Turn to the right page again. I like the night without the dark. We never see the stars. Stephanie Meyer said that. <coughs> Owl's message. You have extra oh my god extra sensory power and perception do not be frightened of it and do not fear the dark it it's where the most incredible gifts tiptoe out of hidden and reveal themselves open your inner and out, outer eyes to behold the greatest secrets never told once you accumulate, you'll discover night vision that enables you to see what escapes most people. Meaning, nighttime dreams or daytime sightings of an owl symbolizes that you are coming into your wisdom, magic and ability to see in the dark, beyond the limitations of the conscious mind Owl reminds you that your shadows, oh no, shadow, and and the unknown are your friends. Access your inner owl when accumulating to the new nest, town project, or relationship. Owl is also known for being a protector. When they show up in dreams, it's it's as if they are giving you another set of eyes in the back of your head to bring you a 360 degree view of the ter terrain you are navigating. Manifestation. In Greek mythology, Owl is an animal companion of the goddess Athena. Known for her seriousness, intelligence, ability to focus and, and to swoop in and get, get needs met on behalf of herself and her people. With Owl and its Athena in mind, in the quiet of the night when the world is asleep and there is no directions call to mind a goal, wish or desire you would most love to dream a, f a dream of fest bracket manifest using the help of your dreaming mind imagine you are at one with our beholding with laser focus the jewel in the midst of your desire Allow our steady, our steady gaze to guide you toward fulfilling your intent. The mantra is, the mystery of the darkness is my friend. I have a hoot getting my most essential needs met. And I'll show you guys the mantra. Sorry about the shadow. Last of this deck. Oh, 
<laughs> I swear this has come up a few times, guys. If any of my people followers are on here right now that have tuned into previous lives, you probably have seen this one. <coughs> Hang on one sec. <coughs> and it is the squirrel. Prepare prepare for the future while playfully enjoying the present. If there's anyone around that's been in previous lives, they've probably seen that card. <laughs> it's come up a few times. Okay, millions of trees in the world are accidentally planted by squirrels. Oh, this also was a day of the, the, the card of the day recently. <laughs> okay, where was I, sorry. Accidentally planted by squirrels who bury nuts, then forget where they hid them. Do good and forget, it'll grow someday. And that was said by Anonymous. <laughs> Okay, Squirrel's message. Do you need some mo motivation to move forward? Oh, no, to m move toward your goals, as nutty as they may seem. Have your best laid plans ground to a halt, or are you feeling like you are up a tree and out on a limb? If so, Squirrel is here to infuse you with comedy and joy to Renate your light-hearted spirit. Once you, once you're back to your vibrant self, get ready to romp. Meaning, if Squirrel scutters across your waking or sleeping dream, consider this a sign of good news, prosperity, and abundance. Uh, be it in your resource, money, or playfulness. Squirrel in a dream may also be a message to be patient, uh, no, to be practical, sorry guys, with your preventance. Uh, in other words, ration and spend conservatively to make your abundance last, or better yet, compound with interest. This is not to say hoard, become mercenary or clingy over to material goods. As long as you have what you need, you'll be content. Manifestation. Skrill says there is no time like the present to care for your future self. Do you need a life insurance policy or an up-to-date will? Tackle the toughest action item on your list. The phone call you resist, the chore you cringe at, the, the confront confrontation that makes your heart palpate. In other words, burrow in and work during your productive season, spring and summer, so you can feast on your reserves come fall and winter. Just make sure to keep track of where you stash your loot. The manifest, uh, no, not manifestation, the mantra says, I'm nuts about my job. I love what I do and I do what I love, which that's true to me. I love doing these readings. <laughs> and that's my job. <laughs> Okay, so that was the last card, guys. Oh, I better not do that because that seems still... Oh, no, it's not lit. Okay, the new one. guys just getting another incense lit up and then I'll get on to the yes and no's
hopefully I, yep, positioned it properly. Yes, in no time, guys. So how many did I say I was gonna do? Three to seven, okay, I'll do seven. One, two, three, four, five, two more, six, and seven. Okay, let's see. One by one, I'll pull them out. But I did already grab them from the deck. Exactly seven. First answer is it is possible. What kind of reading do you want? Do you want it from a deck? Because um, I'm doing yes and no's right now. I've already picked the seven, so your answer is possibly already in there if it's a yes and no. If not, my next deck will be the Witch's Familiar Runic Oracle. And then I'm doing Human Spirit. Then I'm doing Guardian Angels. And then I'm doing the Crow Tower at the end. Yes, is, yes and no is fine. Okay. Go ahead. And I'm just reminding everyone that I did already pull, pull It Is Possible. So I'm going to set that aside. So that could have been for Melissa. It is possible was that card I just had before. So stars twinkle. What's your question? Oh yeah. Will things get better with um, better emotionally in my relationship? I'm getting a for sure. I was looking at two cards just then, just in case the other card is actually the answer. I'll show you both of them. But this one was really heating up for me, really feeling warm. And that was the other card I was looking at possibly, but this one was more of a standard yes. Trust wise, yeah. One of those answers is for you, Stars Twinkle. I was getting this one for sure. But if you're drawn more to the it could be, that could be your answer more. Just give you two options there. Because that was really hot, <laughs> like feeling the for sure one. Because I used two cards there, I'm just going to pick a, a fresh one card for the seven. Okay. Hey, lovely. Hey. What's mine? Melly. Um. Okay, for Melly, I think so. Okay, I swear I saw another one question there. Love seat. Vanessa, does Matthew really love me? Please and thank you. I don't want to be rude with this one, but it was the first one I looked at and then the second one was us, very doubtful. The second one was very doubtful, but the first one was you, ha you must be having a laugh. I'm sorry to be a bit bearer of bad news. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like some of these negative ones, but hey, I gotta do the reading how it comes. 
So your answer was, you must be having a laugh. I'm sorry, doll. But that could be a good thing. I don't know. Depends on the actual person you're talking about. Okay, I've got three cards left, guys. Um, we've got a very doubtful. It's guaranteed. No worries. And then the last one is ask again later. Three, 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 one. Three, three, one. Nearly three, three, three. That would have been a spiritual number. Oh, give me a sec, guys. I'm gonna drink some water. Get my next deck out. The next one on the list, <laughs> which is my witch's familiar runic oracle. Just to also remind you guys, in case you have to go somewhere, like it's late or whatever, um, I do end up posting my full live on my YouTube, which the link should be in my bio. Okay, we have Gebo, and it looks like a swan. Yes, it is swan. 14. If anyone's into numbers spiritually, uh, the page this one is in on is page 14, which is double seven. I'm a seven life path, so that relates to me. It might relate to you. Who knows? Okay. Gebo swan. The swan knows the gift of lasting love. Joining with their partner, they exchange a promise and a bond of f fidelity, allegiance and trust. Each light lives in the harmonious cycle of giving and receiving, while caring for, loving and protecting the other. Gibo is a beautiful and generous symbol of sacred exchange to receive <clears throat> to receive you must also release when blessed you should in turn bless Jibo encourages honoring your com commitments and contract contracts and returning like for like union comes in many forms love friendship family and business Okay, keywords, gifts, partnership, sacrifice, fair, exchange, honour. Magical workings. With its deep connection to energy exchange, this rune aids sex magic. Use it to seal sacred unions like hand fasting. I'll show you the the magic workings and keywords. That's why I put my thing as 18 plus because some things are a little bit inappropriate for kids. But I also want to say that you can't you, you can also do this sort of work with your kids. Just maybe not tarot and oracle because as you just saw <laughs> some aren't appropriate but I have seen a deck that's actually lined for kids purely at my local shop that I go to buy them all my decks from okay um Burkano we've got and it's a hair they call it a hair but 
most people call these bunnies or rabbits. But it's like a wild one, so it would be a hare, technically. <laughs> hare. Where's the hare? Okay. 36, page 36 for anyone that likes numbers. In the springtime, fertile and I can't read this word, guys. I'm going to show you guys and then I'm going to move on because I don't want to try and pronounce this word. <laughs> so, fertile and Mama Hare brings forth a abundance of new life. She is the great mother and fiercely protective. The timeless cycles of the earth flow through her, generation after generation. Burkana holds within the mature female wisdom of our mothers and our grandmothers. Burkano speaks of female fertility and also of the safety and shielded sanctuary of the womb. When this rune appears in a reading, there may be a birth of a child, an idea or even a new goal. Keywords, birth, sanctuary, fertility, life change, secrets, magical working. This is a powerful healing room with addition in, in phases on purification and detoxing, de detoxifying, no, detoxification, sorry guys, especially in com combination, com combination with lagus carved into a slice of ginger and add to an infusion. I'll show you guys that because I did do a lot of stuffing up there guys. I do apologize. I'll undoggy tag that. Sorry, this is one of my favorite ones. That's why it's doggy tagged. Okay. Oh, let that go back. Okay, so that was Second one, last one, and then I'll do maybe I'll do yeah, I'll do seven again. Okay, I need a drink again, guys. I just want to show you guys what I'm seeing on my screen. Nice shooting stars and stars and it changes. It's pretty cool. But you don't you only get to see like that bit. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Thank you for your comment. Oh I like this one. If there's any lion Leos out there, this one's definitely for you, especially me being a Leo. And it is, oh my god, I can't read it because it's got the fancy writing, but I'll just see from the book quickly. Ingwaz, that's right, it's a weird eye, but you'll see what I mean by weird in a second. <laughs> Because it kind of looks like a J with a weird curl, but it's in ways. I love these cuts. Pop that here, and what number was that? I should have read that first. Forty-four. And I've actually recently heard something about fours. Apparently there's a certain um, culture that doesn't like fours. They consider it to be bad luck. I can't remember what 
ethnic, like what culture that's from, and what country. But I heard it recently, so that's pretty interesting to know that some people f find fours to be unlucky. It's like a lot of people find 13 to be an unlucky number, but I love the 13th. <laughs> Especially Friday the 13th. Okay. In Wes. Lion. Still, but with slowly building intensity, the full main lion sits poised for action. He holds within himself potential for an explosive release of energy. He is the leader and the father of his pride. If called to it, he will make the ultimate sacrifice to ensure the survival of the next generation. Inwaz is the rune of growth, the spark of life, and the germinating seed. It has enormous creative potential and is the fertile male representation in balance with Birkino female. If you receive this rune in a re reading, consider taking time away to create space for transformation and inner growth. It is time to build up your energy source and explosive in expenditure of energy may soon be needed. Keywords, creation, wholeness, harmony, evolution, energy, an energetic burst, magical workings. Inwaz can func function as a container or re re receptacle of energy. So on, f so on the full moon, consider inscribing it on a clear quartz crystal before you charge it in the moonlight show you guys that because i had a little bit of difficulty again but i guess you guys probably understand and understand what i'm saying majority of the time i'm hoping as long as i'm getting the messages out there Okay, now I'm going to move on to the next deck, but picking seven cards out of my yes and no's first. So that's the next deck. I'll show you guys what the next deck is first. This will be the next deck after the yes and no's. Human Spirit Oracle. Shuffling. Okay, first out of the seven is a year. Second one is answer unsure, ask again. You know how I don't like the negative? <laughs> Well, this word literally just says negative, so it's a negative for that one. Please don't actually do the second part of this card. Some of these cards are a bit rude and funny, but I don't want you to go away, okay? Just letting you know. I don't, that's just your answer. Like, I'm not telling you to actually go away. Guys, I love you guys. Please stay. <laughs> Don't leave me. <laughs> okay, and then we've got an absolutely. Oh, my God, guys. Not this again. 
Okay, we've had this this card a few million times. <laughs> and, well, not million, but you know what I mean, a lot of times. Um, on many lives. And every time it comes up, guys, I get this silly song stuck in my head. And it's like, I don't, okay, I'm going to sing it. <laughs> don't, don't. Don't judge me for my singing voice. But does anyone remember a song that went, Absolutely everybody, everybody. Absolutely everybody. I don't remember the rest of that song, but it was really popular for a while. And every time this card comes up, it gets stuck in my car, in my, not my card, in my head. It gets stuck in my head. So, yeah. <laughs> I love it too, but every time that card gets, yep, it gets stuck in my head, and I don't know how many times that's going to come up tonight, but hopefully that, that was the only one. <laughs> I don't want to have to sing again. And another card here, guys, by no means. Ooh. This is not wanting to answer your question quite yet. It's saying, ask me closer to the time. Also, um, I might actually throw my pole out there as well. I've got this little pole that I did a couple times previously, but I'll probably do it at the end because it's using the deck I used at the first at the start so I'll put that on in a little bit when I get closer to the end deck oh did I do all those questions yeah, yeah I did all the answers yep okay next deck a human spirit oracle I think this one has reverse as well. I don't really like doing reverse guys, but um, I do them when they come up reversed nowadays. Because <clears throat> each to their own, you know, some people probably want to hear the re reverse meaning if it's come up reversed. A lot of people like different spiritual things and different ways of doing readings. And I like to try and accomplish. Oh my god, I can't speak right now again. I like to tend to everyone's needs as much as I can. Okay, first card from the Human Spirit Oracle is Third Eye Blind. Let's see what that means. And it was upright, so we're lucky. And it's 42, 42, 42 is the number on there. But it might have a different page number, so I'll say that for you guys too when I get there. 42. And the page is 94. But the number on the deck. Yes, I mean the number on the card is 42. Okay, I'm going to save that for the second one because obviously that needs to be read. Because the card, I just found a card on my lap as well. Okay, third eye blind. I don't see the third eye. Oh baby, open that eye. It really allows you to see through all the bullshit. <coughs> Stop ignoring your instincts and your intuition and insight. S scared that it's just wishful thinking? Open that third eye and you'll be surprised at all the foresights you have within you. That gut feeling is your true north telling you to stop being blind. We have been so conditioned that there are only five senses but look at animals hearing things we cannot or seeing things we don't 
We believe that the reason you you are closed off is because of all it, all relative to experiences. If you can't see it, it tangibly, then how could it be there? Try some simple med- meditation to help you relax and get your inner eyesight back. That was a beautiful one. That was a beautiful one. I'll try and show you the picture a bit clearer. Okay. So I'll do the second card, which I already had on my lap. Thank goodness. (laughs) And it's number is number one. And it says, any way the wind blows. And I'm going to guess that this would be the first card in the deck. So it'll be the first page. But it's technically the twelfth page, guys, because they have... You know, a little bit of information and beginning, middle and end card pool and like different pool, like different card spreads and stuff like that you get in most books. So that's why it starts on the 12th page for the, the readings. Okay. Anyway, the wind blows. I'm so easy. Um, <clears throat> mind out of the gutter, please. I'm going with the flow, letting myself just go, where things take me, and swaying along the journey with the utmost, the utmost trust. Do you easily bend like the branches of a great willow tree to you that surrounds you? Does the breeze softly sway you and take you any way the wind blows? If not, then perhaps it's time to learn, le- no, sorry, not learn, lean into it. Let, let's let get limber and go with the flow of the universe. You'll find that life can be peaceful and abundant. Journey if you trust in yourself and the universe's plan. There is no use in getting caught up in things that are simply out of your control. Take a moment today to sway away. Move and learn along your path. You'll find that without resistance, life can be much less stressful or even feel like it's flowing easily. So try it out. Plant your feet to the earth, arms in the air, and just give, give in to the sway. Remember, if you do not bend, you'll break. Now, that was a nice one. It gave me goosebumps, guys. I don't know if you can see. My hair's a little bit standy. Oh, the goosebumps aren't that obvious. But I feel them. Just believe me. (laughs) Okay. Now, last card for this deck. Hello, hello. Thanks for the follow. Last one for this one. Okay, and then what's my next deck? Garden Angel. Okay, so this card is. God, I nearly put the book away. 24. The number on the card is 24, and it says Head in the Clouds. I kind of feel like that sometimes. I might need a new. Yep, I need a new incense. Oh, we nearly had a thousand likes. Thanks, you guys. I'll get the singing bowl very soon. Well, I have it. I mean, I'll play it. (laughs) Let me do this reading and light this incense.
Ow. Why does the smoke hurt my finger that badly? Okay, guys. Oh, 1,000. I'll just do this, read this out, and then I'll get on to tapping that singing bowl for you guys. So, 24. And the page number for this one is 58. Head in the clouds. Well, hello up there. How is the view up there? Are you living in dream in a dreamy, almost absurd day to day? Having dreams is what makes the world go round. But do not get so lost in the dream that you forget your reality. It is easy to get lost in the fantasy of it all. While dreaming is amazing, you must take different avenues to get to them. Setting and manifesting your intentions. Perhaps a vision board will help you get a little more grounded to manifest your dreams. As absurd to having uh, as oppos opposite to having your head in the clouds and just waiting for your dreams to manifest without taking any real part in making them come true. That was beautiful. I'll give you guys a little close up. I forgot to do that with the last card, I think. As I promised. for you guys and that one will be this one guardian angel oracles oracle <laughs> so we're getting close to the last one so I'll put that pole up now um, how do I do it oh yeah that one interact Poles and gift votes. Text poll. So you guys are going to get 4 minutes and 44 seconds to answer this to your heart's gut decision, guys. I want your first initial decision. Your true favourite animal, please. And the winner will be read out after I've done the last deck. Okay, poll is starting now. Okay, get on to seven more yes and no's. While we break through the decks, that's what I do. I put a little break in there for you guys. I just need to fix the little card issue I'm having. Some of the cards were not the right way. I could see the answers before I even shuffled. Okay. Got four minutes left on the pole. So we got one, two, three. Four, five. Oh, 
that was an accidental ding. What was I up to? Five was it? I just need to make sure because I don't want to get too many. One, two, three, four, five, yep. Six and seven. Okay. How are we going? Three minutes and twenty minutes left on the poll. I'll do it a couple times to give people a chance just in case. But if there is an answer, full on answer. And yeah. Okay, so the first yes or no is a never. We got a nope. I'm tired, ask me a later. We got a not possible. Not ever. Sorry about all these negative. This one's a never. We've got a sort of possible. I don't know how you would take this. Lol, definitely not. I'll be doing more yes and no soon as well. Okay, next deck. To remind you, we're doing the Guardian, Guardian, Guardian Angel Oracle. See, my tongue has a mind of its own sometimes. One day I'll have my tongue in line and in like I will have control of it. <laughs> Yeah, first card we've got Angel of Encouragement. And what number is that? Is that 11? Oh my god. I didn't know my eyesight was losing it now. Yes, it was 11. Angel of Encouragement. <clears throat> you are encouraged to believe in your own power. You have what it needs to achieve your goals. You have received this card because your Angel of Encouragement has heard your cries for assistance. Don't be surprised to hear whispers from your Angel of Encouragement standing by your side offering you encouragement and guidance from the Angel an Angelic realms. Your angel of encouragement knows only too well. Oh, we got two votes for the dog. Yeah, I'm going to say that's enough because there is three people now, but that's that I can see. Um, so dog. I'll have to put that in my mental brain. That dog won that one. Okay. I remember numbers easier so I'll just see where dog falls. 64. Okay. I can remember that. I am doing readings love. Um, I'm doing the like as you can see the card in front I'm doing deck by deck and in between I do have yes and no cards but if you're just wanting a general message these are the perfect cards each of my decks are perfect well I find they're not perfect but each to their own 
Okay. <laughs> Just a general, yeah. Maybe this will relate, but if not, I'm going to be doing two more of this deck, this particular deck, and then I'll be doing yes and no's, and then I'll be finishing off with the crow, and then my poll just ended. I did say I was going to do it a couple times, but once was enough. I got enough message that you guys wanted the doggy, and I'll be reading the dog out of the first deck that I did, which was Wild Dreams Animal Oracle. <coughs> okay, so we're reading encouragement at the moment. Where was I up to? <coughs> Your angel encouragement knows only too well how sometimes we humans can lack confidence <coughs> in ourselves and we worry and question our worthiness in this world. Your angel doesn't want you to f uh, want you focusing on the things you feel you lack within yourself. He wants you to focus on the gifts you possess. Have you ever truly thought about your hidden gifts or talents? I'm sure the answer to this question is no. Write a list of the things you're good at or the areas in life where you show compassion to others. For example, I'm a good listener. I'm a good friend. I'm a, I am compassionate and caring. I am a hard worker. I always finish things I begin or I love my family. Now that you have thought about the things you are good at, think about the things you need encouragement with. Ask for support from your angel of encouragement. You may have received this card to remind you that a friend or family member would always benefit from being ass assisted. If this is the case, you can simply communicate this to your angel of encouragement and he will be the best to assist. Do you or a friend or family member need assistance with an issue concerning education, work, health, your love life or family issue. Focus on what the issue is, then call your angel of encouragement for support, hope and guidance. Encouragement can come in, f in the form of words, dreams, messages, symbols, feelings or other su um, subtle means from your angel of encouragement. One second guys, my feet getting a bit cramped up. Need to change my positioning. Okay. The affirmation. I am being guided by my angel of encouragement. He is helping me to realize that I possess everything I need within myself to achieve my goals. I'll show you guys the affirmation. the second card. I'll be doing yes and no's shortly after the third card guys. Just to let you know. Okay we've got Angel of Comfort. I swear I had this on the previous live. Saturday Night Live <laughs> because I only just uploaded that video on YouTube recently and that card was actually on the like the um what's it called thumbnail okay six okay Angel of Comfort you can accept the comfort and support your angel shares with you from above. You have received this card because your angel of comfort acknowledges that you are experiencing a challenging time. 
Are you feeling alone? Have you recently lost a loved one? Are you having challenges with your work or family? If the answer to any of these questions is yes, then it's time to call in your angel of comfort. Your angel of comfort will offer you warmth and support. Don't feel that any challenge or issue you are worrying about is too small for his assistance. All you need to focus on is that he is by your side at times of need. Your angel of com- comfort wants to offer you a shoulder to cry on, a strong hand to hold, and an ear to listen to your worries and fears. He will offer you strength, relief, and guidance to help you understand that in time you will heal. Your angel of comfort may even guide an earth angel into your life in your time of need. The earth angel could come in the form of a like-minded friend, family member or work colleague who has experienced similar challenges in their life as you're currently experiencing. Sometimes getting back into your comfort zone can be as simple as sharing your experience with another through talking about your issue with your angel of comfort or the earth angel he sends to you may give you a fresh insight. Your angel of comfort will help you return to your natural state of well-being. He will show you new ways to help you release any of your past fears so you no longer return to your past state of discomfort. All you need to do is trust and have faith that your angel of comfort has the knowledge required to assist you. Leave the why, when and how up to him and he will take care of the rest. The affirmation, guys, is I am safe. Uh, Wait, hang on. Let me restart that so it's proper. Affirmation, I am in safe hands. My angel of comfort is healing me in my time of need. Show you guys the affirmation. So that was the second one. Last one coming up for you. I didn't leave that long enough, did I? Sorry, guys. And the light. Just give me one second, guys. I'm going to be right back guys, um, listen to some didgeridoo from my my hubby while I'm gone, but I'll be right back guys, I just need to go somewhere. Thank you for entertaining my followers and the people on this live. Okay, I'm back guys. Sorry, I just needed to go check with my son there. Thought I heard him cry, but it was it was nothing. It's probably the cat at the door or something. I have heard that cats can mimic the sound of babies crying get attention 
<laughs> that was beautifully beautiful, thank you. I played the didgeridoo when I was in year seven. Oh my god. That's Okay, so we're doing the last Guardian Angel card, guys. Angel of Chiqui... Hang on. I'm going to pick a different one because I couldn't even say that one. Oh, this is a good one. I haven't got this one yet. Or in a while, at least. Angel of Health. I'm going to be doing yes and no's after this card, if you can wait that long. If not, um, don't despair. My videos will be uploaded to YouTube after this live is finished. Oh, I don't know why I started shuffling. <laughs> okay, so Angel of Health 16. Okay, you are a healthy spiritual spiritual being who rejoices in experiencing wellness in your life. You have received this card because your angel of health has heard your concerns about your health and fitness. Have you been procrastinating about living a healthier lifestyle? Do you worry about your fitness levels and your weight? Do you suffer with a chronic illness that is holding you back from living your life you dream of? Have you thought about joining a gym but keep putting it off? Do you want to become more mobile and more active? If your answer yes to any of these questions, you will understand that this is the reason your angel of health has come to your aid. She is here to guide, support and assist you with your journey to wellness. She will guide you to find a healthier way of living. She will steer you in the right direction when you are looking for the right gym to join, the right health practitioner to assist you with your health issue. All you need is to surrender your worries and fears about your health to her. And she will give you all of the necessary support you need. The most important thing for you to remember is that you are now on the path to wellness. Your angel of health wants to remind you what it feels like to be in a state of natural wellness. She wants you to stop dwelling on being unwell and to look to the future of being pain free what do you think you create what you think you create so only think about being happy healthy and healed once you surrender your health issue to your angel of health she'll take care of the rest the affirmation for this one is i am at one with my body my health is on track I am guided by my angel of health to maintain physical activity and healthy lifestyle. I hope that was long enough guys. I really don't know like how to time things with like showing on the screen. So I hope it was long enough and if I'm too quick just let me know and I can always bring things back. <laughs> okay now, okay, the next deck. <clears throat> Get it ready. The next deck will be my Crow Tarot. But first I need to put pick seven. Yes and no, it's for you guys. Because I saw a few people have written some questions there. Hopefully they're still on, but if not, hopefully they heard me say that it will be uploaded onto my YouTube. 
when I finish. Okay, so we got the first card, second card, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that's it. I nearly put eight down, that was weird. Okay, the first card we have is By All Means. I'm just going to place that there for a second while I light another incense, guys. Because as you can see, that one's finished. Next one in the line. I think this might be Lemon. No, not lemongrass. <laughs> Lemon? Something like that. Hang on, let me get the packet and see what ones there is. Where is the packet gone? Oh, there. Yeah, there is lemon. Yeah, this is most likely lemon. stung my hand. So the first one was by all means. And we got a no. And we've got a bit of incense on there. Sorry guys. <laughs> Yes, definitely. Don't count on it. We got a yep. Sure. We got a mm, no. Oh my god, where's all these incense marks? Oh my god, guys, divine, divine. My cat just walked inside. Okay, I'm gonna have to flip the camera. Okay, come here, come here. How do I flip the camera? Can I even flip the camera? Hey, what's your problem? You me love your mommy. Don't be like that. Okay, I'm just gonna do this, guys. My little baby just walked in. Say hi, Missy. Yeah. Say hi. Say hi, everyone on TikTok. My name is Mississippi and I'm a beautiful cat with one blue and one green eye. Yes. Yes. Oh yeah. I love you. Okay. Oh, I just got whipped by the tail, guys. Now what it mean? Made a funny meme. I'm gonna do that if I got that on film. <laughs> I'm gonna make a meme on myself there. That would be funny, like smack, smack, smack. <laughs> Having a little loop <laughs> and then getting hit. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm just so. Sort of, um, that was just magical. And now I've got like cat hair up my nose because I got the tail to the face before. She's a beautiful. I have five cats and I have black cats. I used to have a cat, a black cat. His name was Shady and I miss him. And yes, I did name him after Slim Shady, Eminem, because I was listening to Eminem's song and it came, the, the song, I'm Shady, and it's like, I'm Shady. Yeah, that one. <laughs> As I'm like, what's your name of cat? And I'm like, 
Well, black's a shade. How about a shady? <laughs> I know it's really stupid the way I named my cat, but he was beautiful. I loved him. Um, he ended up running away and then getting adopted out. But anyway, life goes on. Um, I also had Luna which I bought for Shady because I got told it was a female cat. So that's the hence Luna. Um, <laughs> turned out to be a boy cat, but didn't mind, don't mind that. My, my cat still was like, hey, you're my girlfriend, you know? And yeah, they're like best buds. And yeah, I unfortunately don't have them anymore they ran away not because I was a bad owner or anything I was a lovely owner it just had a, a time of my life where I had squatters and people in my house that were mistreating me and my animals and yeah I had a run away from my house and yeah I, that's what ha had to happen and life has moved on I've got Missy now I've got a white cat and a girl cat instead of, I've had like three boy cats in my lifetime. <laughs> and I finally got myself a girl cat. Okay, the first crow tarot for the night is the hangman. I love this card. It's one of my favourite for the major arcane. I've read it a few times. So I basically know what's this about but I like reading out of the book so I want you to get the actual because the crow tarot right though it's based on the normal akanes like major and minor akane um, they have a little bit of a twist to them like crow meanings and stuff so yeah that's why I like reading it out of the book because you get more of a understanding the hangman. Keywords. Delay. Letting go. Waiting. Waiting to decide. Element. Water. The crow hangs from a blossoming cherry tree, allowing his wings to fall in. Complete surrender. He sta stays still, Le uh, leaning into the position and allowing the blood to rush to nourish his brain. Away from the rearish noises of the roost, he has let go and is at peace. It is in the silence he will discover the answers he needs to help move a project or desire forward. The hangman asks that you put the situation or plan on pause so that you can look at it from a different angle. There may be a vital element, uh, element that you are missing and the result may be a longer delay. The hangman suggests getting away from the situation both mentally and physically. Oh, both mentally and physically so that you can recharge your energy and approach the issue with a renew, renewed virtual vi virtuality sorry guys vitality this card may also represent a project put on hold due to an external force out of your control the only course of action is to wait patiently. So I screwed up a little bit there, guys, but I hope you understand that card and its meaning. There's some poppies there, guys. Happy, um, let's us forget for Anzac Day. That we just, all the Australian people and, well, 
anyone really in the, around the world because there was a lot of people that were in the wars and stuff, but particularly the Anzac War. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I love seeing the poppies on this card. Eh? Funny enough, one of my nicknames when I was younger was Poppy. Because um, I went over to Thailand a lot from age eight to... I think the last time I've been, oh, I've been was 2014, so quite a long time ago now. But, um, yeah, because over there they can't really pronounce R's. I'm not being racist here, but a lot of Thai people over there especially, they can't pronounce their R's properly. So for me to kind of be able to be called out for and people not pronounce my name wrong they decided to call me Poppy so that they didn't have to say Rhiannon which is a really long and hard one to pronounce especially for people that can't pronounce ours properly no offence to them like, I have Thai fam like, not real family, not blood family, but basically I was raised by a Thai woman from, like, two onwards, so. We've got the full. I'm liking how these have been upright. So, that's my second one. Oh, my God, I'm almost finished. And then I've got that dog card. Yes, I remembered guys. From the poll. What am I doing? The fool. Don't be a fool, Rhiannon. Just find the fool. <laughs> uh, fool. Come on, where the frick is the fool? Fool, don't fool me. Where are you? <laughs> I'm trying to find the fool in the book and this is like... I'm not trying to fool around here, guys. I'm actually... Oh, there it is. I forgot fool is the first one in the book. How can I forget that? I've always remembered the zero. Because with the the actual numbers and stuff, with the, book, with the major arcana and the minor arcana, the first card is actually not labelled one, it's labelled zero, and that's the full. And then you've got the the next card is the magician, and that's number one. So, yeah. Just thought I'd put that out there for an interesting fact. The full. Keywords. Innocence, beginnings, free spirit, faith, adventure. Element is air. Unafraid the crow does not weaver, weaver a bit and has faith that the log and the river will provide a great adventure. In the distance there is a wind blowing, whistling, a warning, yet the crow remains faithful, knowing that despite how stormy or choppy the waters may become in the future, the log will keep her afloat, afloat. The full card asks that you have faith in the universe and live fearlessly. You will come through the storm if you allow to hope to replace fear. Imagine the adventures you have waiting. Upright, this card is urging you to have faith. Okay. I think we're on to the last card now. I'm 99% sure here, guys. Oh my god. Should I? I just seen this thing saying 
to invite someone as a live as a guest to my join my live as a guest but I don't know if I should invite she's like my like she, if there's anyone on here that's actually a fan of me she's like what I am to you she's my go-to lady you know like she's my spiritual spiritual guru that I go to watch occasionally when she's alive so it's funny that it's come up to invite her but I don't really want to because I'll I'll do my thing and let her do her thing like <laughs> but if you ever want to check her out her name is Monique Monique Hendricks she's really good she's a um, spiritual like a healer she does like crystal healing and sound healing and stuff like that I think she does sound healing but she definitely does crystal healing and I've seen her pull a couple cards as well on her lives but she mainly does crystal healings on her lives I shouldn't be promoting someone else, but I'm just letting you guys know that, like, even the teacher has teachers. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Like, even someone that does spiritual work occasionally goes and watches another con content creator or another spiritual worker themselves, like, to, to get something for themselves out of it. <sighs> The Emperor and it was upright again which is good oh, oh God. it's gonna be one of those things again oh, no, I found it <laughs> okay so this is obviously the fourth card um, the Emperor keyword father like authority fair minded wisdom uh, protective Element of fire. The emperor represents masculine father energy. Whether it's the em empress offer abundance, abundant love and nurturing, the emperor brings a solid foundation of order and rules that provides security and stability. The crow stands on swords. Oh no, on a sword. A symbol of power, protection, authority, strength, and courage. The ram head on the throne represents leadership and in, and in, in, oh my god, one second guys, in, I'm going to show you guys, I know the word, I've said it many times even tonight, <laughs> but my head's just gone funny. <laughs> intuitive intuitive see it sounds correct but then it also sounds wrong to my head for some reason the emperor the emperor's energy brings order to chaos he is not a dictator nor taskmaster he is however strong leader who commands devotion through wisdom and Intellecti uh, in integrity. Sorry, guys. Crows are known for passing information through their DNA to future generations to protect them from possible dangers. The Empress si sits on his throne, ready to share his knowledge to ensure all around him stay safe channel his power in times of uncertainty through fearless determination and ex and ex expertise ex ex oh my god guys I'm having a bad night tonight with the reading sorry guys expertise expertise it will manifest success. Got there at the end. Hey guys. <laughs> I've been on for 90 minutes, scores. Well 
Well done, me. Okay, so that was the last and final card, but don't spare, there is still more. Because I still have one card from Wild Dreams Animal Oracle, and that was the dog, because I did a poll, and that's what came up. But I also have seven answers for you guys, yes and no's. So I'll pick those seven now. I need to just get one, two, three, four, five, six, <gasps> one more. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And I've noticed you've been on pretty long, so thank you for being on here and staying on here, guys. And I appreciate everything, the likes, I've seen a few gifts here and there, I'm not really asking for that sort of stuff because I believe if my talent is, well, my gift, as in like the readings, if they're spot on enough, you know, like I shouldn't be asking for the, the money or donations or gifts before I actually do the reading. I believe in, you know, like, I believe spiritual things should be free until, you know, you really have that verification, you know? If that makes any sense. That's why I don't sit there going, hey guys, thanks for the, well, I do appreciate the roses, thank you. But, like, I'm not sitting here going, yeah, come on, I just need fun. You know, like, I, I see a lot of people out there on TikTok doing, even though TikTok's been trying to make me do that. It's like, oh, come on, if you do this and this and this, you'll get more of this and this and this. And this is like, um, I'm good, thanks. I, I just want more people to actually follow my YouTube so I could go on live on there as well. Like, the more audience I can reach the better right <laughs> like <laughs> yeah so I'll continue the readings because that's why I'm here so the first one is without fail finally we're getting positive answers I swear like all the rest of them have been like negative now they're starting to positivity up in the house here Perhaps. Oh, I love this one because when I first got this de this yes and no fortune telling cards, I I've, I've been trying to get pregnant for a while now, and I was asking it. I was asking it. Am I going to get the dream of having a baby girl? Like I've got my son. He's four. I, I want a daughter, I want a sister for him, you know, like all this stuff. Am I going to get that? And the first card that I've ever pulled out of this deck for that question was, yes, when you are ready. And I almost cried. <laughs> so, hope that answers someone's question out there. Yes, when you are ready. You must be having a laugh. I really don't like this card. Because it, it sounds like it's actually like semi-positive, but because of the laugh, like laughing is good. I love laughing. But, but then it's like, sounds negative. You know what I mean? All right. And now we're getting back to the negatives. But I hope we finish on a positive. Please finish on a positive. We're on to this would be. Oh, I can't even remember now. I've got two more cards left, so I think it's the fifth card, yeah. Fifth card, probably not. Um, in no way. So there's a sixth card, last, second last. 
Yay, we're going to end positively for the yes and no's. Possibly. That's a good enough answer. That's a positive answer to me. Okay. 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 Do the hokey pokey. I'm going to find the dog card to put in front of you guys. Fish, octopus, chicken, and pig, gorilla, bee, bird. Obviously, I couldn't put all the animals in. But I did try my hardest. Oh. Sorry, guys, I'm getting a bit yawny. Yawny, yawny. So it was a dog that won. Found it. Oh my god, it has to be a chihuahua. I ha I actually owned a chihuahua back when I was young. From when I was five years old. I No, not five years old. When I was ten years old when we purchased it. Um, I even had it in this house. But... I think 2014, 15, I don't know what year it was, um, my auntie ended up taking it and taking it to Kalgoorlie with her when she moved. And, yeah, so, and then it passed away in 2017, 18, roughly. I miss it. It was my little baby. Its name was Roxy. Kind of looked like that one. But more sh shorty hair and not that creamy it was more rocky sandy color that's why I call it Roxanne and also after that song Roxanne anyway um dog dog D D D D A B C D A B C D okay <gasps> dog be loyal to those who are loyal to you if you want someone who will listen to your e e e bleh, sorry guys, will listen to you every time, do everything you tell them to do, and always be there for you, for the better or for worse, get a dog. That quote was from Anonymous. Oh guys, I'm getting tummy pains. One second. <sighs> Holy moly. Okay, I'm back and I'm back. Okay, dog's message. Just because you know the rules doesn't mean you can't bend or break them when your instincts tell you to. Your loyalty is a sacred gift that enhances to uh, enhances the lives of everyone to whom you devote yourself. But the person who deserves your f f fidelity most is you. This card may be a nip at your heels to be more attuned to your intuition so you can joyously sniff out the best ways to meet your needs. Meaning, dogs in dreams represents the part of you that is in the world but not of it. Your dog expect is in, innately wild, a direct descendant of the wolf, and yet knows its way around the human realm. Dogs show up in dreams to give you an injection of best friend support. This dog encounter may be due to your inner tug of war between freedom and harmony and duality of the desire to be a part of the pack and the yearning to be your own top dog. This dream may also be barking at you to set boundaries with someone in your life. Manifestation. Take a few minutes today to play like it's your job. Get on the floor if it's applicable or go outside, roll in the grass, jump through the sprinklers, or lap up every last drop of your favourite meal. At the very least, endure, endure your senses by taking a huge whiff of something that pleases you. 
perfume, essential oils or chocolate chip cookies. Notice how your sense of smell and taste um, invigorates your entire sensory being. The mantra for this is, I pat myself on the back for being true blue to most to my most essential ins- self instinctual instinct instinctual Inst- sorry guys I'm having a bit of trouble but I will show you the ma- mantra anyway I pat myself on the back for being true blue to m- my most in structural self is that what it says or stinctural <laughs> I'm having a really bad day guys but it's almost finished for the live I'll give you guys a few yes and no's to send you guys off One last incense. I'll send you guys off as well. Hang on, I just need to scratch off that so the hole's a bit better. That's what she said. See, that's another reason I didn't want to put hey, the kids allowed to watch it kind of thing. I want it to be 18 plus because just in case I said something inappropriate like that, you know. Once, you know. <laughs> scratch the hole off and then said, that's what she said. Be appropriate, Rhiannon. <laughs> oh, this is a weird one. See how it's like being sawed, like on an angle? Normally it's flat. Oh my god, is it even gonna stand because of that? <coughs> it works. Okay. Get rid of that. But yeah, that was the dog, guys. I hope you liked that. That was voted in by you guys in that poll. If anyone from that is still around. <coughs> okay, so seven questions. I'm going to get on to that. One card ready. Ooh, I'm bump on the table. Another card ready. So one, two, three, and four, five, two more. Okay, there we go. We have a Yes. We got a accept your fate. Ask again. Absolutely not. Hey, at least that song didn't go in my head. Because <laughs> it's not just the word. It's absolutely not. It's saying not. So it's telling my brain not to sing it. Which is lucky for me because it almost just tried to slip in then. But I'm not going to sing it. Nope. But yeah, your answer is absolutely not. <clears throat> mm, I nearly sung it then, guys. Okay, wait. Let me think. Weather permitting. Sorry if I'm doing this a bit fast. 
my phone's on 28% now. And I'm like, ooh, no. <laughs> oh, noodles. Oh, no. The glass card just went under the table, guys. Technical difficulties or what, hey? And it's telling you to find your own answers. <laughs> find your own answers. Uh, I'll give you guys an extra couple because those two were like a little bit. By all means, and oh my god, yes! Sorry, I had to do it like that, guys. <coughs> so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed my live. My Saturday night live. Ha 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 ha. Um, like I say, in every time I do these videos these lives. Um, <clears throat> the full video will be uploaded onto my YouTube, Staying Spiritual, which I'm pretty sure you can find the link in my bio. Um, and don't click the donate link because that is my old link I don't know how to reset it up because apparently I've never had it as an option yet but for some reason I got to set it up before and now I can't change my old link to my new link <laughs> but if you look at my bio I have pasted the link in there I know it's not clickable but you know you can at least try and search it if you do want to do that kind of donations, but I'm not asking for them. Um, <clears throat> um, what else? Yeah, like and f follow my page, pages, both YouTube and here and Facebook, because I do post everything on all three channels. So yeah, don't forget to stay spiritual, I guess. That's what I normally sign off with. I'm sorry I'm getting a bit tired, guys. Sorry I'm a little bit out of it. I might end with some singing well as well. Why not? Thank you very much. I love that incense burner too, hey. That's why I've like used up like probably like how many? One, two, three, four, five. I've just done under that. I think I've done one, two, three, four of them. Because I've got two left here. Actually, I could have done five because I did. Add an extra one. Good night and sweet, sweetest dreams, guys. Hopefully, those dreams become a reality for you one day as well. Okay, I better actually leave before my phone dies and I get a bad leg cramp and I start rambling. But yeah check out for more videos in the future remember to stay spiritual come on why is my f yep end now